Hey, what's up guys? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. In this lesson, we're going to work on displaying our questions with the right controls. The first thing we need to do though is we need to create an IB action from our start quiz button to our navigation controller. Um, so once that button is pressed, we can start our quiz. I forgot to do this a few lessons ago, so we're going to do it now. All right, so I'm on my main dot storyboard and um, I've got the button highlighted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick click on this segue, uh, the show segue we have. We're gonna go over to the attributes inspector for it and I've already have a name for it. So um, you can uh, copy that and just do start quiz or you can name it whatever you like, um, but just make sure you do command C and we are going to um, use this here in a second. So with the start quiz uh, highlighted over here in the document outline i'm going to hold option and i'm going to click on the intro vc to open up the assistant editor as you just saw and so i'm going to control click and drag from the start quiz button over in my document outline over into this empty space that's right after the view did load function and release and so i'm going to change the connection from an outlet to an action and I'm going to say um, start quiz pressed and I'm just going to hit connect all right I'm going to close out of the assistant editor by hitting the standard editor button going over to the intro vc.swift file and this is what we want to do we want to start typing perform segue this is the one you want the perform segue with identifier um, in the sender uh, parameter so I'm going to hit enter and then here I'm just gonna uh, hit the uh, quotation mark just once and then it gives us two which is great and then I'm gonna command V so that identifier uh, popped up there for us and then I'm gonna tab over and I'm just gonna type nil because we're not passing any data so we don't have to worry about that and so once everything's said and done uh, once we hit the button on our intro uh, VC it'll start the quiz it'll go into the navigation controller which essentially will go over into the uh, to the quiz or to the questions VC which starts the quiz alright so back over into the questions VC another thing we need is a way to keep track of all of our questions uh, what questions have already shown and a way to calculate them once um, er all of the questions have been shown alright and so we can do that in a property so we're going to store it in a property called questions our question index so I uh, just made some space under the outlets and I'm going to say var uh, question index and I'll say we're gonna say equals zero because we have an array of questions and all arrays start at zero and so we got that and I'll just do this properties all right that's cool and then another thing is is that we need a way to update our UI so once um, the quiz starts we need a way to be able to show the single questions the multiple questions and the range questions but we don't want to show them all at once and we also don't want them you know we don't want them showing all at once and we also want to wait so we can update it each time uh, you know the submit button is is clicked and we're going on to the next question so we're going to create a function called update UI so underneath the view did load just create a couple spaces and then we're going to say funk update UI and I'm going to hit enter and then we're, I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to call it up here so we're going to say update UI and in this UI update UI we are going to say we're going to say um, single stack view dot is hidden and we want to say true my bad equals true we want them all to be hidden at first and then we're going to say multiple stack view dot is hidden uh, uh, nope and equals true and then same thing for the range so range stack view dot is hidden equals true all right so they're all going to start off as hidden at first but um, what we're going to do is another thing we're going to do in this update UI is we're going to update the navigation title to um, show the question number um, along with the uh, question title and so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to say 
uh, navigation item dot title equals and we're gonna say question uh, question number and we're gonna do some string interpolation and so we're gonna say current not not current we're gonna say question index and we're gonna say plus one because we don't want this we don't want it to show zero uh, for the first item in the array so we're gonna so we're gonna um, increment it uh, by one and it's gonna do that each time all right so we've got that all right so now that we have our navigation title uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our current question a way to store that and so we're going to say let current question equals we're going to say questions and then we're going to open up a square bracket and we're going to say question index all right so we got that and now we need a way to show each of the stack views once um, it's its turn on our questions view controller. All right, so we're going to start off with the single um, question type first and then going on the multiple and then we're going to go into the range. But we don't all want them shown at the same time. But as you can see up, up there at the top on our update UI function, uh, they're all going to be hidden at first. All right, and so now we, we need to provide a way to unhide them. So we're going to uh, create a switch statement. So we're going to say switch current question dot type open up a curly brace and we're going to say case dot single colon and we're going to say um, single stack view dot is hidden and we're going to say equals false all right and so the next case is going to be dot multiple colon i want to say multiple stack view dot is hidden equals false and then case dot ranged and then we're going to say ranged stack view dot is is hidden equals false and now what we're going to do is we're going to build and run this and so we should see that um, our first question VC our, our first question will show up uh, the way that we just uh, created it all and so what we're going to also do is we're going to rearrange some of them so we can see and make sure that uh, Everything it works right for the different question types uh, As well, so we're going to click on start quiz Hope everything works. All right good. So as you can see at the top we have our question number one uh, Up here at the top and then we've got our label. We haven't configured the actual uh, question yet uh, to update the label I should say but this is what our single view looks like and we have our different buttons here. All right, and so I'm just gonna minimize that and I'm gonna comment this out so we can test this out. So I'm just gonna go uh, like that and then like so to comment it out. So you do the uh, forward slash and the asterisk and then, you, and then at the very end you do the asterisk and then the forward slash again. So now when we build a run again, if you do command R, um, the question number two should pop up, which is the uh, the multiple choice where it shows our, our switches, right? So let's do this. So we'll hit start quiz and good. So yes, it's showing us question number one, but you get it. We're just trying to check out and make sure the UI updates correctly. So that's good and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna move this last one down here and I'm going to go forward slash asterisk and oh I did that backwards I'm like what's going on asterisk forward slash all right cool and then now I'm going to go command R again and now this last VC or the last question type which is the ranged one should show up all right good all right so we're all good there so in the next lesson we are going to update all of our different buttons and, and questions and answers. And so that was going to be a, a lengthy one. But thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're getting a lot of value out of these lessons. This is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Happy coding to you guys and y'all take care.